Hi everyone! So I just wanted to share some quick projects that I did for Scrap Diva design team. And this is another shaker phone that I made, but it's featuring the new rotary dial that's on her site right now. And it is made to go on this shaker telephone so beautifully. It looks like this. So you've got this face who's here with the dials. You've got this back piece. And there's a little hole so that if you wanted to use a brad so that it would rotate, you can totally do that. You've got this ring piece, this circle piece, and then you've got this little hook. And I don't know if you guys remember, or if you're old enough, but this is supposed to stay still. So that way, when you roll the dials around, it kind of hooks to where your finger is, and then you can let it go and then get to the next number. Um, but on this one, I just went ahead and glued it right onto the face. So it does, so you can actually like use this to help like spin it around. It is on a brad, so it does rotate, but just look at how cute that is. And if you have like little tiny letters, numbers, or images, you can put that on the inside and then that would show up too, as you spin it around. And I think that could be really fun. And I just used um, some garden party for the back of this um, telephone paper and it just made the shaker. I added some garden party chipboard here. And then the flower is also Scrap Diva Designs. And I just think that this flower is so beautiful and it's like the perfect embellishment and compliment to this telephone. And these ones, I have to say, I think these are like my favorite dies right now. So these are all called Loaded Banners. So this is the banner that you get with the full set. And then these are the add-ons. And I'll show you what those dies look like. So this is called the Loaded Banner Die Set. And this is the full set that you get. It comes with one round bunting die here with this really cute heart laced edge. These are the hanging pieces. So you do have a couple of options for for this part right here. Um, these hearts match exactly with the little hearts on the edge here. So you can do that or you can use one without the hearts. Then we've got these really fun novelty shapes. And I do have some cutout examples. So the happy birthday has the wording and then the back shadow die with it. And it just looks so well put together and so professional looking and just really, really cute. And then you have these balloon shapes, which are so fun. They all have a stitch detail and you have a couple of different options for the tail of the balloon. You've got this wavy one, um, and then this more slightly wavy one here. And then you have these little teeny tiny bows that you can place on the balloon or even just use it as confetti. This has a couple different shapes so that you can make a shaker or just kind of layer it up so that's like a built up banner piece. So here are your add-ons. And I was... I would definitely get this too. You get these amazing tassel pieces right here. They're unlike any other tassels right now on the market for a die because they're super wavy and they give out so much body and so much personality. So what I ended up doing was cut the tassel die twice because I wanted these tassels to be full bodied. And I did the outer layer in a, this pattern and then the under layer in a solid color. And I just really like the way that those two play off of each other. I also used her Easter border die just to give it a little bit of a cap. So, and just as a size difference, you can see how the two different tassels look. So this big tassel is going to be about two and three quarters long and the small one is about one and three quarters. And then you've got crafty greetings here and it's also got a shadow piece as well and I'll show you what that looks like. So I didn't put these together yet but that is what it looks like and I really wanted to use foam so you can kind of see what that would look like lifted out and it gave it this really cool effect and I think it looks great like with the shadow piece but you can definitely use it without as well 
and I just think that looks really nice. So that's kind of why I haven't like put that on yet because I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. I really like them both. Um, so I haven't decided. I will be decorating each of these banner boxes. I just really wanted to show off the what it looked like as a shaker and the shapes for now. And I just think like even like not decorated, these look so nice and so cute. I used the carousel collection and I created a shaker mix that would go with each paper. And then this is the way that this box works. I have mine positioned so that when you open it, it opens top side. And then you can kind of just hold it like that, which is really cool. And I'll show you those die pieces really quick. So you have a whole bunch of die pieces for these boxes. These are the main sides of the boxes and then you've got all of your side panels and then you've got cutouts for each and every panel. And just like I had shown you in here, you can do like a little peekaboo like image on the insides. You can cover all of the insides and the outsides if you want. You have so many options in decorating these boxes. I mean, how cute is that? And I just think as far as the gift goes, that's just a really nice added touch. It did take me a minute to kind of figure this out. So I do want to do a tutorial and I do have my pieces cut. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this together for you. So before I get started, I do want to talk about these two pieces really quick. So the box needs to nest on itself and these sizes are very slightly different. So this would be your bottom and this would be the top. And the way that I figured out, like I would find out the quickest is just kind of setting them out like this and like one will fit inside the other. So the smallest one is the bottom side and the largest one is the top side. Here I have all my pieces laid out. This is going to be the bottom box and this is going to be the top. The way that I know that is that these two sides here have flaps on three of the sides. And you need that because the flaps are going to connect to these ends. This one is going to have these two. So it has an open end. You only have two flaps and that's because you want to keep this one freely hanging and what that is going to look like is this here so instead of the flap that bottom flap folding up like this it's going to stay folded onto this bottom box so the first thing you want to do is look for all of the score lines and go ahead and fold. These score lines are done so well that you don't really need a tool to do it, but you could use a tool just to make sure that these edges are nice and clean. Just like that. I went ahead and already pre-folded all of the pieces so we can go ahead and get started. And I would just glue the underside here and I would do that for all of the pieces. Okay, so next you want to glue the outside of this flap and just attach it to the inside of this outer flap. So you want all of your outer edges to be clean from flaps. So we have our first box done. So this is the bottom box. And then we're going to do the same thing here. Now you only have these flaps here on this one side and then this is completely open. So we're going to go ahead and attach those.
Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and attach this side to this side. And it will close just like that. So we're gonna put glue on the inside of this bottom flap. Just make sure that everything is lined up. So this is your finished box. And it's just gonna like come right on top of it like that. These two sides right here and right here, you're gonna go ahead and glue a banner die on each side. So that way when you open it, it's gonna be really easy. Everything's gonna to stay together and it's gonna close very easily as well. And that is it for this project share. So I will be doing another video pretty soon. I'm currently working on projects for her latest die release and that will be coming up in the next couple days. And in the meantime, go ahead and check out ScrapDivaDesigns.com. You can also find her at ScrapDiva29 on Instagram and YouTube. And please use my discount code, hello, it's me, Roxy10, for a 10% discount. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!